We find out one of the most amazing things about the rescue of Captain Richard Phillips was the skill displayed by Navy snipers. Those three sharpshooters firing from the deck of the USS Bainbridge, each taking out one pirate each on a lifeboat that was bobbing in the ocean in the dark with a single shot. With pirates off the coast of Somalia growing bolder by the day, snipers could play a pivotal role yet again in keeping American sailors safe. And now the Pentagon is hoping to make them even more deadly by developing bullets that can literally turn in midair. Have you heard about this? James Carafano, defense and homeland security expert with the Heritage Foundation. Sir, good morning to you. Nice to have you on our program. Good to be good with you. Um, you say this technology is not new. I, I tell you, when I was in Iraq in October, they were talking about this where you could fire a bullet literally down a street or an alley and it could take a left-hand turn at the corner of a building. Is this technology possible? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's possible, um, and, and it's only possible because something called nanotechnology. Uh, well, nanotechnology is basically the ability to build machines that are on the scales of atoms and molecules, little tiny miniature batteries and little tiny miniature wings, uh, if you think about it, in the time it takes a bullet to go from point A to point B, that's really, really fast, and it's a really little miniature payload. So you, you basically have to do what you do on a missile, on a ballistic missile, on a bullet in seconds as opposed to 15, 20, 30 minutes. But so just, it's a, just it's so an enormous clear on technical this, challenge, but it's not you, science fiction. How do you guide the bullet? Just like the way you guide a missile, you basically have to have fins or thrusters to adjust the the angle of flight as you go along. What that requires is like a little miniature brain, uh, requires a sensor to see where you're going, requires a little battery and a little fuel cell to drive all that stuff. No kidding. And you called it nanotechnology. That's new to me. Right. I, I imagine we, a lot of reviewers well, haven't heard of that before. No, I mean, you've got, I'm sure you've got nanotechnology all over that place. Uh, we make uh, everything, it started with little tiny things called nan and carbo tool, tools, and, uh, tubes and, and buckyballs. Uh, they're used in fabrics. Uh, they're, they're used in a lot of uh, things already. Uh, the, and the applications are virtually endless. It's basically taking things that are big and making them really, really small. Now, there's limits to that, right? If you have a, a, a battery that's the size of a molecule, uh, you, you, you you can't power something very big, but if you're talking about something as small as a bullet, it, 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 for just a few seconds, it, it might be feasible. Is this possible today because of the development of GPS technology? Is, is that what it comes oh, no, back no, to this a lot is of way, cases? No, no, not, this is way beyond GPS. This is the next generation of technology. I mean, you're thinking big stuff. I mean, you're thinking about stuff that you can actually see in a mic, in, in a, with a naked eye. I mean, this is stuff that is so small it's literally, you, you need a microscope to see the, the machine. Well, I, I find now, we it ought to extraordinary. Say that, What's that? Well, we ought to say that this is technology, not necessarily technology we need to make snipers better because our snipers are literally the best in the world. They're incredible. What you saw happened in that rescue of Captain Phillips, that is everyday business for the SEALs. That's what they do for their bread and butter. These kinds of technologies might make them more marginally better. What's more important is make, might make anybody a sniper. Well, how far away are we from using this? Fully developed one? Uh, well, you, you, you probably see this, this thing kind of evolve. There, there are different kinds of technologies, uh, but this kind of really gee whiz stuff like you see in this, the, the, the sci-fi movie with uh, Angelina Jolie where the, where the bullet actually takes a left turn and goes 90 degrees, uh, that's probably down the road a bit. You mean that's not true? That's just... Angelina being a good shot? You know, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe they're, you know, Hollywood's just way ahead of uh, Maybe it is. I did see Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You're right about that. James Carafano, thank you for your time. Appreciate it today. We had these Thanks visions moving me. to the streets of Fallujah uh, in that battle in Iraq. And you can see the benefit that American soldiers and Marines would have. I mean, moving through dark alleys and having this technology. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. I'm just amazed by age. that training tape video. My hat's <laughs> off to those guys and gals.